Hello guys, my name is Joseph Piriapratha, and today we're going to be looking at a problem from ECE 3620, Introduction to Microcomputers course. So the question we're doing today, which, is, which will most likely be on your quiz one in, in the microcomputers class, is what are the results of the following arithmetic operations? List the H, N, Z, V, and C bits of the condition codes. Assume that all numbers are in hex. So for a quick method, going over the method of how to solve these problems. So first you need to add these two hexadecimal. Before adding these two hexadecimal, convert them to binary and then add them and then find the result and find the result in binary and convert it back to hexadecimal. In the process of the addition, you can solve for, uh, solve for the H and Z, V and C bits of the condition codes. So first let's look at this problem right here, B6 plus 95. So first, B6 plus 95. So first, like I said, we need to convert these to binary. So B6 is 1, 0, 11, which is 1, 0, 1, 1. And if you don't remember how to do uh, hexadecimal to binary conversion, you should have done this in your prerequisite class, 26, uh, EC 26 something. And if you don't remember how to do this, you have to uh, go to YouTube and just type it in. It's a really easy to recap, just review if you don't remember it. Um, it's easy to find, just Google on, Google it or YouTube it. Uh, binary to hexadecimal and hexadecimal to binary. So B is 1011, one, one. 6 is equal to 0, 1, 1, 0. And then 95 is 1, 0, 0, 1. And then 5 is 0, 1, 0, 1. So make sure you put the space right here. That's just for an important part. I'll, I'll explain it later as I'm doing it. So then you're adding these two numbers. So 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 0 with the carry of 1. 1 plus 0 plus 0 is equal to 1. There is no half carry. So the half carry comes after, uh, so the first four bits, there's a half carry. If there's a half carry, which is equal to the H, the condition code. If there is a half carry of one, then the condition code H is equal to one. If there is no half carry, like in this case, H is equal to zero. So let me just write all these condition codes down here. H, N, Z, V, and C. Okay, so like, like I said before, there's no half carry, so h is equal to 0. Let me continue and finish this problem. So 1 plus 1 is equal to 0 with the carry of 1. 1 plus 1 plus 0 is equal to 0 again, and then there's a carry of 1. 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1 with the carry of 0, and 1 plus 1 is 0, and then there's a final carry of 1. So c refers to the final carry. In this case, we have a final carry, which is 1, so therefore C is equal to 1. Then we have to go through and now explain these, these three flags, and I'll explain what each one is for. So first, let's look at the negative flag, which is the end flag. So negative flag is when the seventh bit, which is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, the seventh bit right here. The seventh bit is equal to 1, it's negative. Just remember the sign bits. If it's one, this it's a the most significant bit is one, then it's a negative number. If the most significant bit is zero, it's a positive number. So in this case, it's zero, which means the negative the negative flag is equal to zero. It's not negative, so it's equal to zero. If this is one, then n equals one. So an easy tip to remember is if the seventh bit is zero, then n is zero. If the seventh bit is one, it's one. Now, now we look for the zero flag. So the zero flag is really easy to do. Uh, remember, it's uh, it's all you have to remember is if all the the final results all zero, it's all equal to zero. If this uh, instead of this one instead of these ones is all zero, then z equals one, which means the uh, the result is zero and the zero flag will be raised. Since it's not zero, z is equal to zero in this case. And the last one, which is the most the hard hard one to remember, 
is the V, which is for overflow. So overflow is occurs when uh, when you add two positive numbers or two negative numbers. So when you add two positive numbers, if you get a negative number as a result, then it's the overflow. If, there, if you're adding two positive numbers and you get a negative number, it's an overflow. And if, it, if you're adding two negative numbers and you get a positive number, it's an overflow. So in this case, you're adding two negative numbers. Look at the seventh bit for both B6 and 95. So seventh bit, it's one. And then 95 is also one. So you're adding two negative numbers and you're getting a positive number, which is zero. This, is, uh, this number right here. So V is equal to one since there's, there is an overflow in this case. And then the final step is, it's, the question is asking, what are the results with the following arithmetic operations? So you, you, knew, you do need to convert this back into the hexadecimal number. So to convert it back, you, you should just look up the YouTube video, like I said before. So this is equal to four, and then this is 11, so 4B. So your final, final answer should be the dollars, include the dollar sign for hexadecimal. So, so this is your final answer right here. 4B and then H equals 0, N equals 0, Z equals 0, V equals 1, and C equals 1. Now let's look at the second question, which is 8F plus 7C. So let's repeat the process. First, we write the question 8F plus 7C. So first, the step is to convert it to binary. So first, 8 is 1. 1, 0, 0, 0, and then f is easy, this is all 1's, 1, 1, 1 and 1, and 7 is 0, 1, 1, 1, and then c is 12, which is equal to 1, 1, 0, 0, and then you add all these, so for, don't forget, always, it's, it's easy to remember if you just put h, all the condition codes right here on the bottom so you can just fill them as you go H N Z V and then the last one final carry C okay so now let's do the arithmetic operation so 1 plus 0 is 1 1 plus 0 is 1 1 plus 1 is 0 with the carry of 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 1 with the carry of 1. Okay, so just remember, if there's a carry here, half carry, this is called the half carry because you're going from the 4 bits because it's totally total 8 bits. So after the f first 4 bits, then there's a half carry, which is 1. So just fill it in right now. What some people like to do is wait until the end to fill all these in. I like to fill them in, fill them in as I go, so I can I can just complete the process as easy as you go, and you can just fill it in. All right, now we can complete the arithmetic operations. One plus zero plus one is equal to zero, and with the carry of one. And then one plus zero plus one is again zero with the carry of one. And then one plus zero plus one is zero with another carry of one and then one plus one plus zero is equal to zero and then there is also a final carry of one so c is equal to one now again we will repeat this process now we look for the other three condition codes which is n z and v so in this case we can uh, do the negative flag first since the seventh bit is equal to zero we know that this is not a negative number so n is equal to zero then we look for the zero flag. First, you, you, you might be confused because since you can see four zeros right here, it's not a zero flag. The whole thing, the entire thing has to be zero for in order for the zero flag to be one. Since this is not equal to zero, we know that Z is equal to zero. And finally, we look at the overflow flag. So we're adding a negative number with the positive number, and we have the positive number as a result. So remember, the condition for our overflow is when there's two negative numbers being added, and the result is a positive number. Or there's two positive numbers being added, and the result is a negative number. So in this case, you're adding a positive and a negative, and it's, it's a 
a positive number. It doesn't matter. There's no overflow. There's no chance for an overflow. So you don't really have to worry about it. So V is equal to zero. So just remember, if you only see, only pay attention. If there's two positive, you're adding two positive numbers or two negative numbers and look at the results to make sure there's no overflow. But if there's, if it's a positive and a negative, you don't, you don't have to worry about the overflow. If it's a negative or a positive, you don't have to worry about the overflow, like I said before. So in this case, this is the answer. Then remember, don't forget the last step is to convert. Uh, the question is asking for the results, so you need to convert it back to hexadecimal. So this one is in hexadecimal is zero, and then this is equal to 11, so 0B. So your final answer is, is equal to this. Now we're at the last problem, which is 08 plus 9B. So we repeat the step again. 08 and then 9B. So again, we convert this hexadecimal number into binary. So zero is just all zeros, so four zeros. And then we have eight, so one, zero, zero, zero. And then we have nine and B, so zero, zero, one. And then B is, uh, B is 11, which is equal to one, zero, one, one. And we add these numbers. Don't forget they. Uh, don't forget the method of putting the space in between. Don't write them all together so you, it's clear to you. And I also like to draw the arrow if there's a half carry, so I know like there's a half carry. So it's an easy pro tip to do, uh, so you don't make a mistake. It's easy to make make a mistake here, either through conversion. So you, it's simple, silly mistakes you can make. So make sure you take your time, be careful with it, and you're doing it. Okay, so. 0 plus 1 is equal to 1, 0 plus 1 is equal to 1, 0 plus 0, 0, and then 1 plus 1 is 0 with a half carry of 1. So that's why I draw the arrow so it's clear to me. If I check again, I can make sure there is a half carry, so half carry of 1. Okay, so 1 plus 0 plus 1, it is... Oh, so before we make that mistake, let's go back and remember to write all these condition codes down here so you don't make a mistake. You can fill it, up, fill it in as you go. This is the method I like. You can do whatever you want, but this if you do it this way, it's, it's more less likely that you make a mistake. Then the V overflow bit. Don't forget what each bit stands for. All the, all the other ones are pretty easy to remember except for the overflow, because H is for half carry, C for full carry, um, V for uh, Z for zero flag, N for negative flag. So V is the only one that's tricky, it's overflow. Don't forget that. So let's complete this problem. So first H is equal to one, so H is one. And then we have one plus zero plus one, which is equal to zero with a carry of one. Then you have one plus zero plus zero, we have a carry of one. We have a uh, result is one, I mean, zero plus zero is zero, and zero plus one is one. And there's, there is no final carry. So final carry is equal to zero. Now we look at the negative flag. The seventh bit is one, so this time n is equal to one, because it's a negative number. Don't forget the seventh bit. If it's one, it's negative. If it's zero, it's positive. If it's one, the n bit is one, n, n flag is one because it's negative. So in this case, n is equal to one. Then we look at the zero flag. Zero, uh, z is equal to zero since the result is not zero. So most of the time, the result is never zero. So you're, usually z is equal to zero. However, in, I have seen some cases where z equals zero. So make sure you pay attention and Make sure all of this is equal to zero if z equals to zero. And then the final part is the overflow. So make sure first you gotta look at the question. So if you, if I didn't make, I didn't do that like I told you in the previous problem. First you have to look at the question 
Don't forget, if it's two positive numbers or two negative numbers, you have to pay attention to the zero flag or overflow flag. Since it's it's a mixed, uh, it's a positive and a negative, you don't have to worry about the overflow, positive and negative. It can, if you add two positive numbers, if you add a positive and a negative number, you can have either a positive or a negative, so it doesn't, there's no overflow. Same the other way. Uh, if you're adding a negative number with a positive number, it can be a negative or a positive. However, if you're adding two positive numbers, you cannot have a negative number as your answer. That's why it's called the overflow or it's it's overflow. So in this case, you're adding a positive and a negative and the answer is negative. So there is no overflow. So V is equal to zero. And then the last step, don't forget, you always have to convert the binary back to hexadecimal back to binary. So this is right. This right here is dollar. Don't forget the dollar sign for hexadecimal. You can get marked down for this. So always put the dollar sign. Although in the question, there's no dollar sign because it's, it says in the question that all numbers, assume that all numbers are in hex. So first, this digit right here is 8 plus 2 is 10. 10 is A. And then this is right here is 3. So this, is, this right here is your final answer. Okay, so for my last tip, uh, this problem often comes up in the uh, first quiz. Uh, the professor will mention it in class. And this is really a basic question you need to know. Um, you have to remember, to recap, you have to remember the half carry, the H is for the half carry bit flag, N is for the negative flag, Z is for the zero flag, V is for overflow, C is for the final carry. So remember those. Um, all these are remember, easy to remember. Uh, except for the V, which is for the overflow. So just remember the odd one out is the overflow. And then don't forget to go slow as you are proceeding through this question because it's easy to make a mistake either from the conversions. It's really easy to make doing the additions because, you know, those are really basic stuff and you you, will, you can make a silly mistakes. Uh, and then also converting it back to the, converting the binary back to hexadecimal. That's also a place where you can make a mistake. So, Make sure you take your time, double check everything. You will have plenty of time to do these problems, so make sure you have time and you review these problems and you do them. And uh, thank you for watching my video and good luck in the course. Hope you guys do well. It's an easy course, so 